Okay, welcome back. So Alpine Skyline is very much a um, open world uh, level. So okay. think very much like a... Skyrim. No, not not Skyrim. Uh, um, think like Mario sixty four with this. Gotcha. I'm more. Th I think Skyrim though. The emergency button. Perfectly des designed for moments when you need a button to push, but you can't find one anywhere else. That's pretty funny. And her ship is in ruins right now. <laughs> yeah, it's in dire condition. <laughs> she got sabotaged. All right, free roam. Oh, just free roam. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, it looks like it's gonna be fun. Um. Yeah, I like I like it because you can pretty much do things in whatever order you want. Mm -hmm. Um it is pretty large though. Yeah. So and maneuvering between areas can be kind of a hassle. I like I like this. Yeah. It has a very nice it's like, aesthetic. It's like Nepal. Yeah, definitely. So we need to climb up this way. Got some rock cairns. Rock cairns. Rock cairns. Yeah, they're like the cairn, right? Is that how you say that? C A I R N. C A. What do you mean? Like. Oh, the cairn is like when when you stack rocks like that to like make like a. Oh. Like mark something like marks are the interest in some place. Like, oh. I have no. The, clue. The, the the context you'd see in this country is like, um, like trails, like mm. hiking trails in like, remote areas. Mm, Instead of putting okay. up a sign to mark to where the trail is, you they put they build one of those. Oh, okay. So if like it would go through a crick, like your trail goes through like a crick, and you you put that in sort of like a wooden sign. Oh, okay. But, I don't know the significance of it in like. Well, like, in some Asia, like uh, the Himalayas or. Yeah, well, in like uh, a lot of Nordic countries, uh, having stacked rocks like that were uh, more like burial marking burials yeah all right uh let's see here need to slap this thing fuck you <laughs> fuck you yeah i forgot that we uh we could actually hit each other oh because <laughs> like this like the right here this is very like this looks like they're making it like the ml is Mm -hmm. And like the the architect, this stuff's like you have the horns and like the yeah, like it's like tendry, it's like mom, it's like step All right. cultures. Woo! Tibetan. Yeah, it's very much a uh, uh, Himalayan to uh, Tibetan inspired level, especially with all the goats. And they said Alpine, you know, they said Alpine. I'm not talking about the Alps, I'm talking about. The well, when you when you're talking about like a giant mountain range like that, you usually call it an alpine range. Do you? Yeah. So what do you wonder what like alpine actually means? I don't know, dude. Why is this so big? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were like, "This is big." And I think yeah, it's kind of big, and then like and now I'm looking at it again, <laughs> and I'm like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. <laughs> so this is the stuff. What? What? Who's that up there? Who's that what? I'm gonna go to him. Not you. I don't care about you. Fucking mummy guy. Yeah, this guy. Alright, so we're oh, looking for... Oh, is he not friendly? No, no. Um, They won't hurt you, but if you run into them, or if you get into the... <laughs> in their way, they will... Uh, just punch just... you off the edge. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do our hats. Okay, we need 32 yards. Jeez. Oh, we're pretty cool. We're like, we're not even halfway. Oh, how do you get more yarn? Um, we just have to find it. Here? In, as long like as we have anywhere. one hat tie, uh, hat, hat stop yarn, we can make it. So, make the new hat. Um, dude, this guy's a big old yak. Yeah, <laughs> I love him. 
I am significantly fucking bullshit. Yeah, it's uh, pretty easy to fall off here. I love that over with this. It's like flowers. <laughs> One day. Alright, so we're looking for these things. These open up the paths, pathways to the new areas. Sweet. Dude, there's this house in the bar. It's right outside in the bar. It's like two minutes away from where my parents live. Mm -hmm. And it's literally right. like built into the side of a mountain. So oh. like... It's like built into a hill. Yeah. So it's like completely on the ground, and like the roof's like, the roof is like, grass. Yeah. And I would do it having that shit there. Be like, that'd be cool. All right. So oh, there's yeah. the, we've cleared Goat Village, so we can now go to any area we want. So uh, I'll let you pick. Do you want to do the, um, the windmill, the lava area, the lava cake area? The um the time bell or do you want do you want to do the bird cage and I think there's one more area. Yeah, some yarn. Good. <laughs> um got the the bird cage over here. Um, and I think there's one more area over that way. Can't remember what it is. I want windmills. You want windmill? I like windmills. Okay. I want to see the windmills. Windmills, I think, a pretty long one, but we can definitely do that. So it is actually something I was wondering: would the game allow us to go to two different areas at the same time? And I think the answer to that is no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I bet it, like, teleports you to the top or whatever, the beginning of it. Yeah. I like this area. I do think uh, the the time bell is probably my favorite, uh, but it's probably better to have the time stop hat. Yes, yeah, isn't it kind of for that? Um, Kind of. It, like, sounds like that is what it is, just because it's, like, what we're getting in this area. Like, you probably don't need it, but it's always, uh, it's honestly the best hat, in my opinion. It is the last hat. <laughs> it is the last hat. So. Unfortunately, the DLC does not add any new hats. Which is a little disappointing. Oh, little angry birds. Oh, yeah. Uh, they stay in the shadows? No, <laughs> they just... They're just there to be annoying and hit you. Oh, you don't kill... You don't just, like, straight up beat things to death with your umbrella. Very much after the first area, it seems. Well... It kind of goes away. Unless I'm noticing that wrong i yeah you're you are correct in that um because that's where most of the enemies are is mm -hmm. like the most oh sorry <laughs> Christ, that uh, friendly fire is a thing right. oh move me all the way back down here oh um What? Why is the bridge out? Like, completely? B? Oh, okay. Is that wrong? No, that's fine. <laughs> it's just, I was in the middle of a jump, so I'm hoping that it didn't... Uh, it didn't fucking like, drop you straight down. Yeah. Alright, so we do have to head back to the goat village in order... Okay, I did land on the bridge. That's good. Um, the goat village in order to proceed with the level. If you're close to the exit, then definitely. Okay. Whee! Go right, go right, go right. Unfortunately, ah! you have to go to the goat village in order to. Uh, At this place. Yeah. And then just get back on again. Yep. 
And now, hold. Pick left. Left. Ooh. So, yeah, that's one of the downsides to this level, is you have to the waiting time for this. Yeah, this is a glorified loading screen right it now. It kind of is, yeah. It's like uh, the going through the doors in the Resident Evil games. Like the old Resident Evil games. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is why it is like that. And like ladder climbing. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Like there's always a cutscene. Yeah. Yeah, because I remember they playing Resident Evil 4. Like the original one. Mm -hmm. And I was like noticing all that shit. Okay, sorry. I don't know why I didn't come up. I didn't think about that. Oh. No. Oh, let's climb the windmill. <laughs> yeah, I did do that. Although, I ended up falling down. Because my jump gets neutered whenever the uh, thing pauses. Ow! Ow. Oh, yeah. oh, you heard me. This level definitely gives you a lot of yarns because it knows that you need yarns in order to get to the next yeah. area. Um, okay, so yeah, I remember correctly, we need to Ooh. go to this one, Check which this is out. the Cat Village. <gasps> don't don't get excited. Like cats. These cats are assholes. You'll see exactly why. I mean, my cat's an asshole. I like her. Well, these cats steal your money. Sometimes your hats. My cat steals my shoes. <laughs> Take care, kid. I went up ahead <laughs> and was scratched slightly. <laughs> Cat power. Whoa! 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 Yeah, they're invisible, and you can't hit them when they're invisible. Let's keep doing this. Like, you can just barely see them. Uh, I thought I'm not I, a cat. I sensed, I sensed the presence. Grr! No, I'm like, yeah, no, I'm like paranoid. Yeah. There's only, like, a couple. But... Yeah, when the first time it happens to you. Where'd you go? I, oh, my mask! Come back here. Your mask? And you can't go at all for him. Wrong, <laughs> wrong type of mask. <laughs> oh, you blow the horn. That might have a village, there's like two households. <laughs> But yeah, this is just for all of this work is just for the first um, time piece <laughs> in the area. I like this though. Yeah, it is really and like it's very nice. Looking. I bet the music's like super like epic or like or it's like it's like like super relaxing one or two. Um, I can't remember exactly how the music sounds like. Uh. I mean, I suppose I can get my earbuds out. Well, it's just like, I'm, I'm not like really like worried. I just like want to know. I'm just like curious. Curious because it's like, it's just like very big. Mm -hmm. And like, it also gives me vibes of like how you had to navigate um, Bowser's um, mm -hmm. castle in Odyssey. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, the Japanese uh, inspired one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this the correct one? I think this is taking us back. Yeah. Okay. But you fucked up. Yeah, I did. There was another one we were supposed to get onto. Is this still this one? No, we have to. We have to go back this way. Look at those two big yaks. Yeah. They're pretty yaks. I like They're them. They're kind though. of jerks, but, you know. 
This area is like cool. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Yeah, it is a really cool area. It has a lot of different things going for it too. Let's go to the cat area, the yak area. That's the area. The time bell. The hey, what the fuck bird. are these? Like, what are they making here? What is this plant they're planting? You will find out later after we finish this. Uh, after we finish the first uh, timepiece. See. So. We'll go ahead and pick up some pawns while we're flying around on this uh, thing. Oh, cats live out here too. What? Their their house has like their race on it. Oh, uh, okay. There's the windmill. The windmill. So this is probably one of the longer ones. How does this society work? Yeah. What the hell? Someone. <laughs> well, crap. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be how it's gonna be. I remember having trouble with this one as well. You have oh. to, like. Let you try it. Yeah. It might teleport you up here once I. Yep. Well, um, well, okay. well, um, uh, yeah, so you see. <laughs> I have died. My as spirit, you can tell, my spirit I rests in the little girl hell. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a special place for her in hell. There probably is. The amount of life she's ruined. <laughs> right, though. All those mafia people. All those pictures. She's killed with the people. souls. Yeah. Trying to find as many of these things as it's I can. Terrible. What was this about? Platforming. Oh! Uh, mm -hmm. Interesting. Yes, yeah, go ahead and get that. Yeah. I just didn't oh. stick the landing. Yeah. Another yarn. Doesn't doesn't rest me. How much do we have? 19. Okay. 19 more yarn. It. There might, that, there might be that many in this level. This one definitely gives you a lot because they know that you're going to need it to get the time hat mm -hmm. right you can't actually jump on these these are meant for this it's kind of really confusing because there's other ropes you can jump on look just like that this place actually reminds me of i don't know if you've ever watched or played conquer's Fa uh, bad fur day <laughs> um, but there's a barn there's a barn in the game this there used to be a, i used to like learn a bunch of like a Try to learn what's the guy, what was the composer for all those games for Conquer Death for uh, really? I Grant have no Grant Kirkhope. Grant Kirkhope. Okay. What's his name? I, I'll I, believe you. I tried to learn he had like all like his stuff. Like had like just like really good like low woodwind sounds oh. in it. And I really I had a, I really, really enjoyed all that. So I would try to learn I I played like tenor baritone sax for a while. So I would try to learn tons of like the, the Grand Kirko like songs on there, like Ninja Kazooie and Hogwarts Out for a Day songs. But I never played at all that level. Fuck. I never actually ended up playing Hogwarts Bad for a Day. But I played Ninja Kazooie. Hmm. But like I used to like I really like playing those and having fun with them. Like they just sound like they were just, like so like fun. Mm-hmm. Like my favorite one I could ever do was it was like the yeah. It was like this, like one. I forget like what it was called, but it was like the the music was like this chromatic. All right, I it got was, a shortcut unlocked. Cool. It was like Out a chromatic. It was like a big like chromatic, like going up and down, and it was just like really hard to play. Like when I like sixteenth note chromatics oh. for the whole song, and it was like I think the actual song was like done on like a like an oboe, like a baritone sax, or something like that, in the game. Yeah, but I was just like I had like I was that was like the most proud thing I was they were ever, ever be able to play. Yeah, because never like solo and ensemble and shit. They had me <laughs> like going off like, yeah, learn this for body solo. I'm like, oh, um, yeah, no. Allegro and D. Um, fuck you. I'm gonna learn Kazooie. Eh. 
Dude, that was just, that was the shit. Yeah, pretty much. I played low brass, so sixteenth notes were like a no. <laughs> Why would I want to play anything more than an eighth note? I had to learn like the double tonguing method and stuff. Like, oh yeah, that was fun. That was almost good. <laughs> Like if I if I if I like cared going into college to be good at it, I could have been I could have remained good. But I don't care, and I don't care now. Not yeah. that I want to try to do again. So no no not broken oh, not broken gosh. up about it. Killed me. I have been trying to figure out how to even progress for <laughs> way too long. <laughs> Okay, you I was also check in the same phase in my life where I was playing all the other Dale songs. Oh, okay. So, that questionable was really, life choices it was right quite, there. It was questionable. I couldn't play Naglobania. It was too, <laughs> Yeah, it was really hard. But I could, I could do Death by Fashion. <laughs> what Death is your fashion. favorite, like, uh, Undertale song? Death by Fashion, probably. Oh, okay. Because it's just like, it's just like, it sounds like just some 80s, like, like something that, like, like it'd be like the background, like a Bowie song. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. Like a 70s, early 80s Bowie song. That's also the one I could play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I never tried playing Undertale songs, just because by that point, I Undertale was, you know... By the time I actually played Undertale, I was in college, probably. Oh, I was not. I was like a, like a junior in high school, I think. Like, I, it's, I, was, like, I saw nauseous. someone that I knew playing it once, but I didn't really know what they were playing at the time. Yeah. Right. This would, is would... where having the time stop hack really help. Oh, it just keeps that, keeps that button pressed for longer? It just makes things a lot easier. I have literally no idea how to get up there. I'm very much stuck. <laughs> um, might... Kick you back to a check mark. Ooh, man. She's so floaty, it's hard to control her sometimes. Well, I was like the most obnoxious person in band because I was like the good the one who's like good at selecting the instrument. Yeah. And, but I was also like I just like would always play. Like I would be I would say after and like just play like just like try to learn like other songs. Mm hmm but, Like all the fucking time. Like I was the kid sitting in there playing the other tail music. Yeah. Like people fucking hated me. There's people, people like, they didn't hate me. But like, <laughs> like there, there, like there are people like our age who are like talk, like reflecting about high school band and like remember, like remember that fucking kid in high school band who just like always like tried to learn all the hundred Undertale songs. <laughs> like I'll see that on like TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and someone like, you uh, knew from band. <laughs> and that was just it's me. And, like that was me from high school. <laughs> I was that that obnoxious kid. Yeah, that's not. Oh, it's also the teacher's pet. Um, uh, I think it is cheated. <laughs> I don't think. I think what I just did was not not intentional. Um, I go out here. Right here. Yeah, this is. This is definitely one of the ones that it's hard to sometimes know where you're yeah, supposed to Yeah, I see go. you up there. Well, you have to this. Oh, oh, there it is. Thankfully, getting to a checkpoint does, like, bring you along. So that we're not, like, getting too far separated. Is there a raccoon village here? Nah, but these raccoons will just kind of... Uh, ball. Whoa! Yeah. So if we had done the uh, the bird cage first, that thing would make a little more sense. Um, they're basically a time bomb. 
So, you get on. Okay. Hey. I feel like I've seen you somewhere before. I know you. Oh, well, I'll get up there too. Racing. Trying not to fall. Or more like it. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's what it be. feels like. <laughs> I like sliding. Um, I like when like, you slide and jump and you land there and you just stay like slid <laughs> on your belly. Yeah, it's good. You, you, you can sit there for a minute. Yeah, it's, it's honestly kind of cute. It is pretty cute. Let's see. Fuck you, spider. Ooh. Honestly, the spider is probably my least favorite enemy in the game. Yeah, they kind of like pop out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. Away. They're like the they're like the the guys from Half Life that like suck you up. I actually do own Half Life. I should probably try and play that sometime. So it's um. Uh, <laughs> every a lot of people really really like it. Because like they played PC games in since the nineties, uh, and those that was like the only like good PC shooter in the nineties with like a story. Yeah. Well, and, I mean that and like Doom probably. Yeah. Well, I really wish I could change the camera angle. How do I finish this out? Let's see. Yeah, we're we're getting pretty close to the end here. Oh, that's that. Um, uh, the, the top. Normally, they have like little paw prints, uh, to mark a spot where you can climb up. Oh, you're just going to get it? Yeah, I think so. Sweet. Nice. All right. That's the windmill. That was a long time on that windmill. Yeah, it, it's a pretty long. Oh. 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 Yeah, I mean, in the petal. Ones. Yep. And the flowers bloom, the petals uh, float, and the... And unlike uh, in... The other levels, it keeps you in uh, the area, so you don't get like pushed back out to the ship. So, all right, thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.